Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Dan. Welcome to another video. All right, in this video, we're gonna be looking at a exotic in a fruit tree or fruit plant or a plant that bears fruit. And the name of that fruit is Naranjilla. I know there is the, the, the Spanish term where you roll your tongue to uh, Naranjilla, but that's how I'm pronouncing it, Naranjilla. I'll put the name here. You, know, you guys will correct me as well. You know, it's an exotic fruit that grows in the South America and Latin America. And, you know, I actually got the seeds from Baker's Creek. You know, so I want to show you guys the progress of uh, how that plant is looking. And just give you a quick rundown what this plant really is. Alright? So, let's go check that out. This is my plant, Naranjilla. They call this fruit, fruit this the fruit on Naranjilla. They call it the golden fruit of the Andes. Yeah. Yep. You, you can, you know, from research, you could actually find this right throughout Central and South America. Yep. But look at the, the blooms. It's a beautiful plant. It's a beautiful plant but dangerous plant at the same time. Look at the leaves, look at the spikes. So the plant is defending itself from anything eating the fruit. I'll give you a better. Beautiful, look at the leaves. The leaves just have that exotic look. As I told you, I got the seeds from Baker's Creek. Yep. And then it, it starts pushing out fruits. Which is good. Uh, and from, from research still, they said that the fruits from the Naranjilla actually taste like a pineapple and lemon. Isn't that, that so good? Pineapple and lemon with a little peppery, you know, back end taste. So you know I'm gonna be excited. I could probably do a taste test on camera as well. I, I never tasted it before. So you know, but look at the spikes under it. Look, I'll bring you guys close up. Beautiful plant. Oh, look at the flower, guys. You can see the flower right here. Let's see, guys. We could get right under it. Okay, I hope you can see right here. But, yeah, from what I read up, I saw that the this Naranjilla plant but it was introduced to the U.S. in what? That's about 1913 from Colombia. Yeah, Colombia, Ecuador. So I know all my South American friends, you're probably familiar with this fruit. Yeah. I got about three of them growing here on the property. Yeah, and they, they use this in, you could eat it like just as a fruit itself, but they also use it in sherbets and ice creams and stuff like that. So I guess that pineapple, lemon probably similar to a passion fruit in that area but probably not as sour as a passion fruit yep give you guys a good look all right let's let's go to the next one that i have here i got four of them going here and they all took off when i took them from the container and put them in ground this one right here beautiful plant it's just there's a dead bug here I feel like the bugs can't eat this good but I like to have all these spikes like the plant is defending itself from any form of predator trying to eat the fruit 
Got it. Alright, let's go with another one. The one, the first one I show you is the first one I put in the ground. And this is the second one. I go. This is the third plant that I put in the ground over a period of time. Now what I did was to put it in the ground, see if it was looking, then I do another one, see how that's growing. Alright, let's see the last one I think. I have four of these plants. Uh, this is the last one right here. Yep. But the, the, the <clears throat> I love coming out and just looking at this. This fruit tree or plant or whatever they call it, shrub. Just the design and the leaf, man, is like amazing. And the spikes are actually on both sides. It's right here and it's on the, the outer layer, the inner part of the, the leaves. Yep, I think they make in South America, they, you know, I guess back in the day, they usually call this. The, the juice of the gods yeah yeah guys so you know i just wanted to show you th these are the naringella seeds i show you i got it from baker's creek you know so you could probably try to grow it you know it's subtropical tropical i mean you probably could grow it in a container i, I had it in containers and it was growing but it just seems better it grew better in ground for some reason all right so just wanted to share my you know one of the exotic fruits that i'm actually growing here in the food forest so thank you guys so much again for tuning in have a fantastic day